lot of DC modelers are now seeing the advantage of reducing the wiring from the point control board to the points to just two wires instead of a bundle of wires to each point motor. This is done by creating an accessory bus serving IP digital point motors shown here or solenoids from an ADS8SX like this. In this example, point control is made via the Alpha Encoder Unit Accessory Controller and the DCC system is created by the Alpha Sniffer. The Cobalt Alpha Encoder Unit, or AEU, is a conduit for point control switches with different inputs, such as a homemade panel with either simple push buttons or illuminated alpha switch buttons shown here. Cobalt S levers or even the faithful stud and pro can also input into the AEU. Today I have just rigged up these two simple push button switches to initiate the commands. The AEU, having converted the commands into a digital signal, sends these commands into the DCC system, in this case using the sniffer. Originally to provide an input for a computer-based system sniffer port, hence the name, the sniffer can also create a low-cost accessory bus system separate from the DC, AC or DCC system that operates the locos. Cobalt IP digital point motors are supplied already centred. This is to aid centering the point motor underneath the point's tie bar like this, with the tie bar in the central position like this. Once given a command, they move to one side ready to operate. However, early models were supplied with self-centering enabled and need to be allocated a special address of 198 to remove self-centering. Using, for example, this NCE power cap, the address is formed like this. Gently slide the set run switch away from the body of the cobalt point to set. Now slide the switch to run. Switch off power to the cobalt for a few seconds, then on again. The dilemma for DC modelers was that creating an address of 198 without a DCC handset is not obvious. The purpose of this video is to describe a procedure to cancel self-centering mode, i.e. disengage the cobalt IP digital from self-centering every time it is powered up. To do this, we must make the AEU readdress the point motor with the address 198. The default addresses of Alpha AEUs are 1 to 12. However, the first address of this sequence can be changed manually. Switch off the power to the AEU using this switch is best. Then press the ACC button down while you switch it back on. Pressing the cap button cycles through the four digits that are in turn changed using the ACC button. The display is now blinking and the next procedure is similar to setting a digital clock. To make 198 we leave digit 1 as 0, press cap, digit 2 to 1, cap, digit 3 to 9, cap, digit 4 to 8. The next bit is cute. Press down cap until the display reads yes. If you think you've made a hash of it, just don't press cap. Turn it off and on and it will be as if you never touched it. Then try again. So, the first address number is now 198. This is confirmed when selecting the point as 198 will flash up on the display. Gently slide the set run switch away from the body of the cobalt point to set. Activate input 1 as if you are selecting point number 198. Now slide the switch to run. Switch off power to the cobalt for a few seconds, then on again. Switching off at the mains might not work, so remove a wire at the point 
or at the accessory bus input. Nothing happens, we don't fret, the point will move the next time it receives a normal command. So now we need to restore the original address sequence on the AEU. Press ACC then switch on. Cab. Then ACC to change to zero. Cab. Then ACC to change this one to zero. Cab. Then ACC to change to one. Press and hold cab for yes. Assuming it is a new point motor, it will have a default address of 1, so selecting the first input will now move the motor where it will now stay in its chosen position, left or right. Well, that's how Cobalt IP Digitals have centering removed. Now you've achieved this, if for example you are reusing the Cobalt on a new point, you can use the same procedure to centre it again, but this time use address 199. If you want to reverse the throw of your Cobalt IP Digital, doing the same will do it, but this time with a temporary address of 197. While we're on the subject, Cobalts never forget their original address during this 197, 198 or 199 procedure. So they will just revert to whatever address it had before the procedure. Don't forget to visit our website dccconcepts.com for other tips as well as other videos that help you set up, operate and, most importantly, enjoy your layout.